In Business Central, we can make use of cash flow forecasts to predict a company's cash flow. There are many different areas of Business Central that can be used to calculate a cash flow forecast, like payables, receivables, sales and purchase orders, etc. Business Central now also allows you to make use of Azure AI, which enables us to do things like including documents that have due dates set in the future and letting us factor this into the forecast. You can find more details about Azure AI speaking with a consultant. Setting up cash flow forecast in Business Central is made of a few steps. We begin with setting up the chart of cash flow accounts, then creating the cash flow payment terms, and finally configuring the cash flow setup page. We'll look at setting up the chart of cash flow accounts. The chart of cash flow accounts we can get to just by using the search for page. The chart of cash flow accounts lists the accounts that hold all cash flow forecast entries. In this demo company, we can see a number of accounts already set up. The list isn't particularly large, and you'll mo most likely want to set up at least one account for each source that you'll be using in your cash flow forecast. Setting up a cash flow account is similar to how we might set up a GL account card with a few differences. If I open just this account down here, on an account, we can enter the number and the name to identify the account with the number being its unique identifier. In the account type, we can see some familiar options. We have entry, heading, total, begin total, and end total available to us. Moving to the source type, we have a number of choices that we can use to identify the source type of this account. If our cash flow account is integrated with the general ledger, we can look at GL integration. In the GL integration field, we can choose from blank balance, which makes use of the current balance of GL accounts used in the cash forecast calculation, budget, which makes use of the budgeted entries of the GL used in the cash flow forecast, and both, which makes use of both. If GL integration is set, then we can look at setting a GL account filter where we can specify which GL accounts should be used to determine the balance and or budget entries. We can set ranges and set individual accounts or a combination of the both using the pipe. And with this setup, we can move on.